I'm Jackie Moran, and welcome to our Amazon Live Halloween party. Yeah, you know it's a party because I'm here. Uh, Hi, I'm JD Roberto. We've got all the Halloween picks that you need, from costumes to decor and more. It's all in your carousel right beside this video player, so you can watch and you can shop. And I'm going to stop talking like this because I don't think I can keep doing it. Whatever, JD. I went JD. from, like, Michael Caine <laughs> to I don't know what. Anyway, hi, guys. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, as if maybe you can tell who I am. Uh, or are you feeling a little clueless? I'm totally clueless. <laughs> get it, guys. Okay, so should we get started with my Let's costume do it. today? Okay, so clearly I am Cher from one of my favorite movies, Clueless, you guys. Now, JD, my favorite part about this costume is, is it comes in one click. Yes, you guys, with one click, you get the yellow plate plaid jacket, you get the skirt, you get the tank top with the sweater attached, and of course, you can't be Cher from Clueless without the iconic leggings, JD. So this is a perfect recreation, and trust me, I am definitely a harsh critic of this because I've seen this movie probably a thousand times, but yes, it is a perfect recreation from one of the most iconic 90s movies out there. It gives me that nostalgia, of course, Alicia Silverstone. I actually see her out at Fashion Week now, and I like, totally obsess over her because who wouldn't love of Alicia Silverstone. So it's for the fashionista out there. It doesn't get much better than a little, you know, movie pop culture nostalgia, in my opinion. But I also love that you can get the whole costume With in one just click. one click. Exactly. I would, have, I would have recognized it right away. I think the giant inflatable phone is a nice touch. It's just a little addition. So the phone, of course, does not come with it, you guys, but I do like the fact of finishing off, finishing it off with all the right accessories. So you gotta have the retro cell phone. This one comes from Ruby's. It's amazing. Not only is this actually great for this costume, but any kind of 80s, 90s retro costume. I feel like I can name a lot of uh, Tom Cruise characters that could use Remember this. Remember this, like, when phones literally felt like they were this size? Hello, hello. Right. Like you had to be mountain rescued to have a phone? Hi, hi, it's important. Yes. For you. And, by the way, guys, what? check this out. I mean, you actually, I have been fake dialing so many people today. I'm surprised how many phone numbers I can actually just record from Remember, my memory. I know, right? It's amazing. So it does have these fun yellow buttons, so it adds a true fun touch. It's not just a look from the side. You do get the whole functionality here, but you won't actually get in touch with anybody, but you get the idea, J.D. Not a working phone. Okay, but one click, you know, really, one click for the whole outfit, kind of nice. Yes, so fun. I do want to show. Uh, obviously let you guys know that you can find this in your carousel. You can add it to your cart and check out. I think it's one of those costumes that all of a sudden, us fashion lovers out there, you want to have like a great costume and you need to get it fast and yeah. you don't want to think about it, this is the one for you. I will note that my shoes are my own. If you have a pair of white pumps or white platforms, white sandals even, easy way to finish off the look. And simple hair and makeup on this one and you're ready to go. Just remember to phone. say whatever, as if, and I'm totally bugging. A gag me with spoon. <laughs> okay. Well, you listen, Jackie went the one or two click route for this, right? She got mm -hmm. the whole outfit, she got the phone. I did the punk rocker thing, and I did this piece by piece on Amazon. Some of these pieces, by the way, not even necessarily from the Halloween store. Right. They're just available on it. So I just imagined, like, what would a cool punk rocker costume be? I started and built it around this uh, T-shirt right here. I typed yes. in Skull T-shirt, and I found this Shop Forever Black and White Day of the Dead T-shirt. This I is a Day of the like Dead this, shirt. And I loved it. I said, first of all, not only am I going to wear that on Halloween, but I'll totally wear that other times. It's got kind of a punk rock edge to it, but it also celebrates the day de los muertos. It's beautifully designed. Unisex shirt. Super comfortable by say, the way. I've got it all rolled up and ratty looking, but yeah, it is like a very soft good material. Nicely fitting shirt so you can wear it all week long. I paired it. Now, then I went yes. for the costume jewelry one. I got the Amiliku spiked chain choker mm -hmm. right here around the neck. You guys, uh, they say one size fits all. I don't have a huge neck and this is a little bit snug on me, which is perfect for the costume, but maybe not for your average Tuesday at work. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's adjustable from about 12 to 15 inches, depending on the neck size. So if you know your neck size or you measure it, that's good. Uh, I added the, you, this is obligatory, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta have the skeleton punk spike bracelet. I don't want to yeah. know what time it is. I just want to know that I can bop somebody with my spike bracelet just, if they get too close oh. to the mosh pit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, yeah. don't go too close to JD now. Yeah. 
I'm, this is the porcupine of uh, bracelet. That's right. Nine inches long, three different closures, by the way, totally adjustable to the size uh, of your wrist or the size of the wearer's wrist. Kind of cool for that punk or 80s rocker look. Somebody said, as I was getting dressed, they said, Billy Idol? And I went, no, let me finish the look. But I can see why they thought that, because for that 80s rocker look, it's perfect. And then I finished it off right. with these Quasal Vorlon skinny jeans. These are awesome. They come sort of like pre-ripped and distressed looking. Uh, they're really great for this sort of look. You could do your, like, you don't have to buy these, by the way. You, you could do your own. You could DIY pants. it. Yeah. You could DIY it. But I thought it was great to have a pair that could get knocked around on, on Halloween. They've already got the holes in the knees, so I'm not having to cut up a pair of mine. And they are actually a really good fit. Premium denim. They're nice. These are not like, um, they're not throwaway, right? right? They're not like, oh, I just wore them for Halloween. Everything I bought, maybe with the exception of the uh, accessories, you could wear on another day. And I finished it off. And this was kind of, this to me is one of the fun things you can do. I finished it off with a classic pair of Doc Martens. These yeah, are Doc Martens lace boots. Not only, like, really, they say punk rock, but also I wear these year round. Like, mm -hmm. these are great boots that I can wear always and forever. I can enjoy them on Halloween night. I can have these great boots that really sort of round out the costume, but then I can enjoy them. They're Doc Martens. They're, uh, Classic 8i lace-up. They're PVC sole. They're iconic. They got the big loop at the back for pulling on and off. Uh, they've got the yellow stitching on the sides right there that says Doc Martin. Martin, uh, really good hearty soles right there. All of these pieces I grabbed individually. I just went into the carousel. Right now they're in your carousel. I went in there, I added them all to the cart, and I built my own costume. One of my favorite things about Amazon uh, at Halloween right. is that you could go the Jackie route and mm -hmm. like one click it and say, boom, this is the costume I want. Or you can say, I have an idea. I have an inspiration. I'm going to go through and one piece at a time, I'm going to assemble it. These two costumes, you don't even have to piece together because they're in your shopping carousel right now. So if you want to grab them, you can do that. If you're a, oh, uh -oh. wait. Uh-oh. It sounds like we have guests. It's, it is trick-or-treat time you after know, all. I do think we have a trick-or-treater. Oh, oh, hello, little girl. Oh, could it be a lovely it's princess? princess Ma hello, oh. little girl. Me. Yeah. Person. Believe I know, we don't Believe quite know how to deal with him oh, right now. Hello, hello. Hi. You're so graceful hello, and hello. elegant and lovely. Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, I love this costume. Let me tell you about my Cinderella costume. Um, this is by Love Avenue. I love this so much. First of all, if you're wondering about the material, feel it. Yes. You're allowed. It's 100% polyester. How does that feel? It feels satiny and silky. Let me get in there. <laughs> feels like taffeta. I feel like we're going to prom. Exactly. It's so nice. It's very soft. It's very queenly, very princessy, mm -hmm. if that is a word. But I just love how comfortable it is. And actually, guys, this is my second time wearing this costume. <gasps> when you love a I costume, wore, yeah. you know you love a costume if you wear it more than once. I feel like I've so rarely done that in right. my life. But, but if like, it's good, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, right. right? Exactly. So I wore this last year. I had to wear it again this year. Look at these short puff sleeves here Aww. and the elastic cuffs, so it's nice and comfortable. But look at this tool here on the side, this the overlay of the tool. hips. Isn't it so nice? But you got to know how to pose with it, right? So oh, you have okay. to hold right here on the side. Mm -hmm. And then you have to be a queen. And it has Ooh. to be royal. Look at that. And it's another one piece. Perfect, JD. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way to princess. Pose. I feel it. Yes, yes. So it also comes with the black choker that I have on and the satin covered headband. And it's just so easy to put on. Like when I go to Halloween parties, I'm having fun. I want to be comfortable. I want to eat and drink and not have to worry about what I'm wearing. Yeah. So I love how comfortable this is. And you just can't go wrong going on Halloween as a princess. I mean, it just And she looks so, so elegant and, and like you're coming down the runway at the same time as one of my favorite princesses. Wait, Wait a minute. Guests? I think we have another trick-or-treater, you guys. Oh, Who could it be? Hello. Oh, 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 it's it's maybe it's a few people there. here. Okay. <laughs> Animals, We're still welcome. How to ride. Oh, well then. <laughs> She's so confused. She doesn't know what Halloween is. She's going to tell her. Just <laughs> pop that expression off your face, girl. We were invited oh, to this party. Mark. And who, who are you? Who are what you? is happening? <laughs> Sorry, I'm you? very excited. Wait, I'm hello. Uh, hello, hello. <laughs> Whatever. Animal control. I'm, uh, right. <laughs> I'm an ostrich uh, rider, I guess. Yeah, I yeah sure. I'm wearing a costume that I'm You're a wearing an ostrich. Is, yeah, I'm wearing an ostrich. Um, it's the spooktacular inflatable ostrich costume. This is truly probably the best day of my life because <laughs> I love ostriches. Why? Why do you love ostriches so much? They're just so relatable. Okay. But they're very scary. They put their head in the sand and they just have weird bodies and just everything that about is them. relatable okay like, i feel you know that what? all like, right i feel like they're my spirit animal but okay. anyway 
I, you, I know that last week you were wearing. You, I was just going to say, uh, you touched yeah. upon a point for <laughs> yeah. me because I was an inflatable unicorn last week. Right. And I said, there's something about stepping inside inflated costumes yeah. that just make life really fun, you guys. Really? It's a yeah. huge Super trend fun. in Halloween costumes this year, as right. you can see. Clearly, because two of us went for it. But I honestly, it's so fun. The, the, the fan inside, you barely hear it, and it like inflates in probably two seconds. And tell everybody what's going on here from well, waist so, down. Um, you know, this is the first time in my life that I've had a nice little short torso. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> nice little short torso. <laughs> Those um, little feet are sending me. I know that's not what I you can. meant, but I just yes. to accentuate that point. No, but it basically, so it comes with its own air pump. Uh, mm -hmm. Their batteries are not included, so you'll want to add some of those to your car as well. But outside of that, you just turn it on, switch mm -hmm. it on, and the fan turns on, and then it just blows up in literally about 10 seconds. And it is so much fun. You're an ostrich. It Do comes we... with this Explorer hat as well. This is my, you Your know, own shirt. Just a okay. little t-shirt. That's so you, <laughs> the don't, don't judge by this shirt. It's mine. But, um, but everything else comes with the costume. It covers up your shoes. And I'm a tall woman, okay? Mm -hmm. and That's what, what I was going to say. It's yeah. amazing how the feet it's are my favorite cool. part of this costume. It's super wow. cute. Okay. Do so we have a name for the ostrich yet? Huh? Does she Do we have a name? name? Yeah. Sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call her Pokey. Oh, Pokey. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. No, I'm really hate that. No I'm judgment. Sorry. No, I'm and, yeah. into it. Yeah. No, no it's judgment, your, but your face is yeah. it. It's your oh, choice. My heavens, it's, your it's getting choice. crowded in but here. But we do have another trick or treater, so wow. we're going to hold on that <laughs> note. Trick or treat. And oh, wait hey. a minute. Who oh, is hi. this? I was just getting a little bit hungry. I was going to order a pizza, but it looks like we a have taco. Oh. a taco. Oh. A taco. Let's talk. About it. Well, I am the chef here on Amazon, so I figured it would only make sense to show up in another food themed costume. Mm -hmm. This is the spooktacular taco costume, and I just love this because all you got to do is put it on and you're done. And you're, done. you're literally but done. Don't eat it. But don't eat it. But don't worry, guys. I brought everyone a little can. Oh, yay! Because oh, I always yeah. need to feed everybody. I'll you. catch it. Okay. I'll it's just in her nature. Okay. Yeah, so this is a today. it's a unisex costume. All you gotta do is just throw it on and put it over your head, maybe throw on a red lip and maybe a green lip. And whatever you want. Right. And this I lip, recommend like, bringing tacos with you as well. But this is 100 percent polyester, one size fits most. I just can't get enough of this thing. It's like the yeah. lazy girl's yeah. guide yeah, to yeah, yeah. Halloween costumes, underneath. right? But yeah, everybody exactly. loves tacos. Exactly. Yeah, that's you go right. Wrong. That's and true. you've got all the ingredients. I'm seeing lettuce. I'm and tomatoes. Cheese. And I like a little cheese in Tomatoes. Yeah. 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 Little cheese is good. Now, and what do you have? Um, just jeans, sneaks, and a turtleneck. Yeah, exactly. For the underneath are yours, right? Exactly. Whatever you want. You mm -hmm. could, if you're trying to be like a sassy taco, you could maybe put like red heels on if you want. Oh, oh. sassy taco. Like a, a spicy taco. taco. A spicy mm -hmm. taco. How did you get into it? Did All you... I did was just slipped it right over my head. So there are armholes and a uh, hole for your head, and you just gotta, you know. Oh, <laughs> very it nice. on and off. Wow. But I don't wanna. I'm gonna leave it on. I'm not going to take it off. I hope that's okay with that's you. That's totally that is, fine. We do not I want like that you you're to take it off. making your way through the best of culinary Thank snacks you. in your costumes. Thank you. You've done pizza. I have. Yes. Now you've done taco. I cannot wait to see what's next. I said next. she needs to do like a salad and get a little healthy for oh. us. I mean, come on now. Oh, oh, so Maybe I can it. So much shade. So well, much shade. <laughs> don't worry. We but have some out. other food coming your way oh, throughout you this show. And it's a little healthier, Jackie. I got you, girl. I'm just kidding. You know I don't eat healthy anyway. It's fine. What's happening with Pokey? Pokey? It looks like Pokey's Pokey, having neck problems. No, Pokey, so Pokey's neck got tired, so I just oh, decided to push it <laughs> down. Right, push that's it a great yeah, technique. Really uh, Pokey's really neck deflating, right? Pokey's really ostrich owner. No, absolutely no. not. Oh! oh there it is! Like oh. Pokey <laughs> deflating. Sorry about okay. that. Guys, that thank you so much for coming to our Halloween party and showing off your awesome costumes. So amazing. Ooh, I'm hearing like a noise. Goodbye, Pokey and Taco. All right, you guys.
get on out of here, Pokey. you funny right. girls there. All like, right. You're gonna, like, you know, the best way to get your friends to come yes. over is to have a party. Let's yes. talk about getting decorated for that party. We want to get your living room set up. You want to make your house look perfect or your office, wherever you're going to have a party this season. So let's talk a little bit about decorations, which, of course, yes. we've got. We've got the Fun Plus Halloween party decorations. And this is great because it's so got a fun. bunch of what you need in one package, all of it in one place. Mm -hmm. 132 pieces of party decorations, including party hats, balloons, uh, banners, a tablecloth, swirl decorations, loads of different stuff. Let's talk about some of what we have. Yeah. We've got the little, you know, we got things like the happy Halloween signs right there. There's cupcake toppers and wrappers. You can see we've got our table I love all it. laid out right here. And we've got napkins on it. We've got our great little Halloween party hats. Which I've been wearing around the studio. I you wear yeah. them earlier. Just for fun, because it's really fun. It and doesn't... Even have to be ways Halloween. to be festive, right? So you yes. can wear this to the office as well. It features a variety of festive designs, including pumpkins as well. It's just an easy way to just get your house ready for Halloween. Even if you're kind of like sliding, like dipping your toe into it and yeah. not going all the way, this is great. And you can customize it to work however you want it to work. Actually, this came, this runner yeah. that we have here came yes. as a full-size tablecloth. We just cut it down into a strip because we only oh, needed great. a runner. But on the same with those banners, those little pennant banners mm -hmm. in the back on our bookcase back there, we cut those in half so they fit our bookcase. However you want to customize these decorations, you can do it and get That's your place right. looking great for a party. Now, at it. our party here, you see we've got these cute paper lanterns from Joy Inn. Now, these are eight lanterns. They come together, each with their own designs. Spooky. As you can see, we've got some <laughs> spooky ghosts up there. We've got bats. We've got scary faces, spiders. So there's eight choices. Uh, I named a few of those, of course. They can be used indoors or outdoors. So and it adds that spooky but elevated touch to your overall decor, which I always still like it to have a little bit of a chic flair. I, I'm one of those party people that I want it to be fun, but I still want you that want style You want it to be cheesy, right? Yeah, I can't help myself. Perfect I always, balance. So these are very lightweight. They could easily be hung with uh, built-in hooks that they come with, so each one of them are about a foot tall, mm -hmm. and they really, as a group of eight, add a lot of instant eye-catching decor. So I think it's a great set. To it is yeah. a great set. It's so much fun. All right, so we're about to get into some candy picks for your next party. But first, let's just touch on this adorable tablecloth. Ooh, JD yes. kind of alluded to uh, it There's right that here. one there, but there's yeah. also really this great one here. One here. Very, very nice. Look at how cute this tablecloth. Now, do your kids make a mess back at home with My the kids tablecloth? Make, you know what? We don't need it to be Halloween to make a huge mess <laughs> at the table. We can do it any time of year. But certainly, yes. Halloween is one of those times of year where having like a, especially a little plastic tablecloth like this is yeah. great. This is the beastly mm -hmm. haunted house Ooh. tablecloth. Kind it's of a, a must-have must have yeah. for any Halloween host. You have to have this. And it's a big enough size, so it is a great size for Halloween. Yes. Yeah. 54 by 108 inches, so mm -hmm. it covers a lot of space, you guys. And like we said, that playful pop of color. Got to have the orange, There right? it is. All right. All right. Aren't you glad we <laughs> talked about that? Now, guys, since we're here, you know, the first thing any of us think of when it comes to Halloween, of course, is the candy. So let's get into some of our great Halloween party picks from Mars Wrigley. Mars is the brand behind some of the most recognizable candy names, m and Snickers, Yum. Milky Way, three. Three Musketeers, Twix, Starburst, Skittles. Look, these are the names that when you go to a door and your kid rings the doorbell, yeah. this is what kids are hoping to see Facts. when the exactly. doors open up. You don't want the up. whack candy. You don't want to be the neighbor who has the whack candy. Yeah, you don't want to get right. a bad review, yeah. right? You so have we've to got have a, the classic mix. Come we on. have a selection of variety bags and boxes that are available from Mars in our carousel today. Uh, the ones that we're going to talk about right now are great, not just for the candy, but also for the fun, because these are these do dual purpose. Mm -hmm. They're candy, but they're also great displays. Oh, take it to the office, Halloween. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a great yes. festive way to do that. Can we talk about these festive Mars pumpkin party bowls you're seeing here? So no. this is the party bowl, and it, obviously with this set, you are getting the pumpkin party bowl, which features the Snickers mini bars, the fun size M&M candies, and then the Three Musketeers as well, the mini size candy, and the Milky Way minis size chocolate bars. Did you just hear all those I amazing? I did, but look at I that cute one face. Of each, at least a few more, maybe. Oh. So this, I love the unique pumpkin container because mm -hmm. it has that nice opening. You can see the candy. You can easily turn it into the candy bowl of the night. It's festive. It's obviously the best you could get for Eye Halloween. Eye-catching as well. Mm -hmm. It's a great centerpiece as well. If you make this your centerpiece, it's the perfect way to just put it, boom, right in the center of the table. There's your party decor. Or if you want to leave it out for trick-or-treaters. I know 
Did you ever see those houses that leave the bowl out? And they're very trustworthy. To they do are, that. but you leave out just that amount. So you right. don't fill it up all mm-hmm. the way to the top. Exactly. You leave just that amount. That way, if the kids grab it, then you can go in and add some more. You can exactly. refill, yeah, it. refill it. You know you're going to have to refill it a couple exactly, times. Exactly, exactly. I like these that they're two sided. You're seeing mm-hmm. both the sides, right? Yeah. You've got the candy bowl on this side, but the other side is this just great looking pumpkin, which yes. is cool. Yes, so and they're cute. obviously filled with those individually wrapped fun size and mini size chocolate candies to celebrate Halloween in the best way because mm-hmm. the candy is the best part. So also think about all of the other great uses, though. So say you don't fill it with candy. You could use it in the classroom for classroom parties. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You could even make it a contest bowl. You know, you could use the bowl year after year as well. If you're in the choir group in Sunday school, any of that, oh, just gift it to the kids in the class. That would be a nice thing to do right? with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or gift it to the teacher. I don't know if you still do gifts to the teacher sometimes, but imagine you come in with a nice pumpkin. That's yeah. so, so lovely. It is. Uh, Very I clever. like it a lot. You know what I like a lot is when I look at this whole display yes. and I see the, like, the name name brands that I always loved, even right. growing up as a kid when I would go trick-or-treating. If you opened the door and somebody had Twix or somebody had Snickers mm-hmm. or somebody had Milky Ways, you were like, yes! yes. I and would then, like, run to my brothers down the street and be like, you got to go back to that house. <laughs> they've got the Starburst. They've got the Snickers bar. It's the good stuff. So you were that kid that <laughs> came that back kid. around like six times totally. and pretended and they'd be like, that you oh, were you there already there. I'd be like, mm, uh, not me. No. <laughs> I but, love that. And I think for me, my nieces and nephews, I kind of love going by their gauge, you know, because yeah. now we're in the next generation and they go right for the M&M fun yeah. size. They love, I think, because they know they get a few out of it, mm-hmm. you know, and they, so they love the m and such a classic. Look at that, just grab it and go, mm-hmm. you know, I love the small sizes. I also love it for portion control, because like yes. I was telling you guys earlier, I can eat the entire, like, case by myself. We'll and have on to that see note. how that goes yeah. one day. The two of us will sit down together and just, and just see who can really own it. We'll make our own contest. That's an idea right there. (laughs) Now, on a similar note, let's talk about these Mars Haunted House Candy Box. Love the idea of a box. This is a 60.4 ounces of Snickers, of Twix, of Three Musketeers, Starburst, milk chocolate, M&M's, Halloween candy, all in this unique haunted house pack right here, one and done. Now, inside the festive haunted uh, house design box, there's a mixture of all these fun-sized chocolate and fruity candles. You know what I like to do? I like to bite into a little bit of the fruit and a little bit of the chocolate and mix it all and swirl it all into my mouth. Crazy. So good. I know. Crazy. I know. I know. The convenient design of the haunted house box opens up in the front so you can leave it out for the trick or treat. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Look at that. Yeah. Like it pops open right there at the front and it becomes like not only the carrier but the dispenser as How well. How nice is that? Right? Especially if you're going to be working late and you're not there to give out the candy. This is great. Or even in your office, just leave it out for your office and have your coworkers come oh, and grab that's some candy. Fun, right? Yeah. Ooh. So these fun size candies are just really great for filling out your candy bowl at the home, at the office, just like I said. Um, so I was telling the story earlier in the makeup room that I have a friend who likes to take this candy on flights and mm. then she gives it out to the flight attendants and that's how she gets upgrades Uh-oh. on her flight. Because you just take the box and then everyone on the flight has a couple of pieces of candy or the flight crew has it. And can I even say how uh, in here our stage manager, for example, she yeah. comes and gives everybody candy. That yeah, is. Very everybody fun. loves exactly. a little bite sized candy. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the fun size is great because the Halloween candies are just a delicious addition to parties, candy buffets, and piñatas. So individually wrapped is the way to go this Halloween yes. season. Look at that. Never a trick, always a treat. I love that. It's such a sweet gift. You All guys, right. again, these Mars Variety Packs are available in the carousel right now. You can find them there. Don't forget, you click on them, you get them into your card. Don't forget, you got to check mm-hmm. out to make sure that you've got these. You want to be well-stocked at oh, Halloween. Yeah. You want to be that house. Uh, don't forget, though, we've got more. They're taking the candy. We've Sorry. got more Halloween picks headed right your way. Take a look. Ah. It's our Halloween show, which means we have to talk about weird, wonderful Halloween things that we want to show you. So first up, by the way, this music is giving me life right now. We have this funky wig. Um, This is the Carlery Dark Blue Long Curly Fluffy Wig, which I just styled right here. I put it into Mm -hmm. a braid, but you know, it doesn't come in these braids. You can obviously take them out if you would like, but I just couldn't help myself. This is great for a witch costume, or you could get creative and use it for any other kind of costume you want. Do you want to be a Smurf? Do you want to be... Would you like to be a Smurf? I thought you were asking me if I wanted to be a Smurf, and I was like, "Mm -hmm, yes, that makes sense with what I'm doing right now. The size is actually adjustable for different sized heads. I'm a size extra large in hats, so it may not fit me, but I think it would probably fit I have a pretty big head with a lot of hair, but for these purposes, I'm not going to put a wig hat on. We're just going to put it on over my existing hair and sort of hide it. Yeah. 
that we think? Yes. We think? This we is stunning. Print. So it's made of high quality, high temperature synthetic fiber, which is good like for long term star. use. So you can rock it all night long and maybe even use it again next year. Ooh, look, but I do, I kind of feel like, um, like a like a pop star, like one of those you pop are. stars. Like yeah, like I, I, like with yes. a really breathy, breathy singing a one. Breathy, breathy uh, pop star. Yeah. I, <laughs> and then they've got like a really great trash British accent. Like, I, oh, it's a song that was all about love and ostriches. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I've digressed. I know really exactly far. what you mean. But anyway, if you want to be that person for yes. Halloween, this wig would be great. I'm not taking it off. Please That's who I on. am now. You're off your <laughs> Okay. It. Anyway, uh, talking about being silly, who also doesn't love games? I love Especially game. Halloween-themed games. Tell me more. Yes. Check out this inflatable witch hat ring toss game by Joyen. Or you can see oh it right there in the picture. Lord. It is beautiful. And this set includes an 18-inch tall witch hat that's also, also wearable. Wait, what? So wearable. I can put it on my head and people can toss rings at my face? Yes, they can. Cool. You better believe it. The future is here and it's now and it's possible. And it's ours. Yeah, it's, you can put it on your head, you can put it on the floor, you can put it, you know, other places too, but those are right. the, probably the better options. The rings come in different sizes, so you can score each one a little differently, you know, oh. give 10 points for one, five points for the other. And, and what do you get? If, you, if you win with the points, is that candy? A true happy Halloween. Yeah, uh, probably okay. candy. A true happy Halloween. <laughs> true That's happy all Halloween. you need. Um, all you but need. you don't have to worry because um, the rings are also inflatable. So okay. you're not going to damage, you know, you're not putting steel or iron rings, throwing <laughs> them at people and That's throwing them safe. at a, That makes me feel don't much have better. <laughs> yes, you should. And you know that we love bringing Halloween into the kitchen. Mm. Ever felt like you need someone to hold your salt and pepper shakers for you? Honestly, yes. Well, luckily... This skeleton is happy to. Ooh. This is the Scary Skeleton Glass Salt and Pepper Shaker Set by Home and Gifts. It is certain to be a conversation starter. Each one is individually handcrafted from cold cast resin with salt and pepper shakers. Unfortunately, the salt and pepper shakers are not included, mm -hmm. but it's fine. That's okay. It's okay. You, Don't worry you, about everybody it. Everybody already has salt and pepper. Yeah. That's the thing you it's, have to have because vampires. You, you should have throw it. And salt. garlic, too. Gar no. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. Salt, pepper, garlic. Okay, just a, multiple anything. condiments you can throw over your shoulder all for all the Halloween spirits. Okay. Back to you guys over in the studio. Stay spooky. Stay spooky. Well, getting into the Halloween spirit doesn't stop just because you got into the kitchen. That's right. Hey, get off Wait, the phone. Wait, I gotta go. Okay. You gotta get Bye, off the Mom. phone. Okay. We're Sorry. whipping up some <laughs> spooky snacks that are great for entertaining, or if you're just feeling festive on your own right, all of these fun Halloween-inspired dishes are made with kitchen gadgets that you can get right here on Amazon, and we're going to demo a couple yes. of them. Yes, okay, because well, right? this is my favorite time in the kitchen, guys. It's cookie time, cookie so time. we've got some creepy noises, interesting noises going mm. on. As uh, it wasn't me, I promise, JD. As we go into our cooking cutty cookie cutting here, that's yeah. a little bit of a tuck twister. Some cookies. Okay, so this is the Wilton Halloween Metal Cookie Cutter Set. It comes with 18 pieces. Now they're all in different spooky this Halloween shapes. I personally have to say I love the witch hat. I like the witch the hat. Witch hat like the witch hat is amazing. We got the pumpkin here. Check this out. So uh, again, we've got uh, fangs, ghosts, witch hats, pumpkins, tombstones, brooms, you name it. These are sturdy metal cookie cutters. So they keep the shape of whatever you're cutting. That's obviously the most something? important part, part. So let's get in there. I can't wait to start mm -hmm. with my witch hat here. Oh, that was really easy. Look, it yeah. just comes right out in well, there. Well, now a great tip that our food stylist Lauren yes. gave us was to use a shortbread recipe mm -hmm. that your shortbread dough is not going to change shape or right. rise too much in the oven so you get to keep the shape really well. That's yep. why these came out in exactly the shape they were cut in. Exactly. Look at, oh, look at Ooh, that. There's a bow nicely done. Nice. These are very, very good. Cool. All right, you guys, so there's lots of ways to get creative with those cookie cutters. You can use them not only on cookies, J.D., 
but I'm thinking of all the sweets. I don't want to leave any out. Brownies. Brownies are good. Cake, mm -hmm. rice, cereal treats. Um, of course, we know sticky rice cereal treats that we love. So many different ways to create these Halloween snacks, so it's up to you. You can personalize it, change it up, go beyond the cookie if you want to. Yeah, I gotta do and, my pumpkin. And are you going to frost over there? Yeah, let's frost. By the frost. way, this is just a little bit of food coloring. Oh, okay. Uh, powdered sugar and egg whites in this frosting, and you can mm -hmm. do some really crazy things. I'm going to do my stem in green. Okay, so uh, another... piping bags. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, go. It, so this tip of kind of keeping it on the edge, I like that. So you just kind of do the edge, and then you fill in from there, because I would have done it the opposite, Jamie. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. And so now it's super easy, because now you've got the black icing, so you really don't want to mess that one up. But... It's really nice that you can do as much as you want, and well, it kind of still... you like the hat, and you got your way. I know, and you kind of still can... It all then blends into itself, so yeah. no matter how you layer it, right? See, if it looks a little uneven to start, it kind of Don't all melts. Don't point at mine when you say I, I, it looks a little uneven. I wasn't pointing I any fingers. I was thing. pointing right. icing bags. It's not very not good. that's about it. But you got to add a little stroke of purple to the hat to give it a little extra style there, J.D. How do you like that? I like that? it. Well, listen, nice, this, this right? is you bringing your style expertise to your frosting. You know, and you I gotta, like to see uh, it. Look at that result. Oh, proud of this work. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling very domestic in the kitchen right now. Check that out. Love it. If okay. If you are like me, then you know what? We've got to touch on a meal that is, of course, the most important one of the day. And just because mm -hmm. it's breakfast doesn't mean it can't be scary. That's doesn't right. mean it can't be festive. We don't want you left out from festive Halloween cooking. So we've got a great one for you here. We've got a skull-shaped egg molder. This is the Oakzeri silicone fried egg mold cooking tool. And that is what it makes right there. You literally, it's from food grade silicone and you literally can cook your eggs in it. It can take temperatures from negative 20 to 450 degrees. So it's both a freezer and oven safe, great and fun and easy to make eggs in this. And I'll show you how we do this, right? Yes. So let's see it. By the way, so, I thought yeah. that I have made an egg in every single way that it was possible to make an egg and I haven't made an egg in this egg mold yet. So I, the, I, as an egg lover, yeah. I found yet another new festive way to make your eggs in the so, morning. So literally all you do is you put your two eggs in, you get the yolks in for the eyes Look and you that. let it go and it's going to form into the shape, I love this, of a skull with big yolk eyes. Fun idea. Uh, you could create bacon. Yes. Like you could use bacon as the hair or mm -hmm. the body if you oh. wanted to. You could get creative with it and have some fun. Um, an enormously creative way to make a fun, spooky breakfast. That is so fun, and also, like, with pancakes, then you can maybe even make some faces on the pancakes, then do the eggs to match. I mean, you can really get creative. Um, I love the idea of how we just added a little bit of candy in the morning, maybe on Halloween morning. Would you allow it I would allow, dad? I would allow it the morning after Halloween, okay. since we've, we've gone out and the kids know they have these big bags of candy, so we right. might as well let them enjoy like a little bit of it. one or two pieces on the plate. One piece in the morning, and okay. then get them out and get them active and let them burn off some of that sugar. Exactly. Lots and lots of fun. So this is a great one, you guys. Yeah. And is, is it a must-have? Is this something your kitchen's incomplete without? No. But if you're in the season, if you're a yes. festive person that loves to go all in, this is an enormously fun way to make and if your maybe eggs. it's like class time and you're doing a s s fun breakfast at the school or, so, you know, something where yeah. you're having a party surrounding a brunch or whatnot, this is definitely a good one. And we just use a little bit of nonstick cooking spray, right? Nonstick cooking even... spray and okay. it's in and we're good to go. We'll let that finish up because we like our eggs not. I don't yes. like my eggs runny, uh, I like a li I like a poke with a little bit of a run. No. Just a little bit. No. It's like over no. medium? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh-oh. No. Okay, okay. I just mean... No. I don't want to get right. too close to his bracelet because then I'll be <laughs> in trouble. So, Thank you, bracelet. Last but this certainly is really fun. Tell not us. least, you guys, even your beverages can get into the Halloween spirit with this tombstone ice mold that we have here. Now, this is the DC Chop Tombstone Silicone Ice Cube Tray, and it doesn't need to just be for ice cubes, That's right. J.D. You can obviously make jelly pudding, even cakes in there, and it features six different tombstone shapes. So some have spiders, some have skulls. Either way, you slice it, they're all very spooky, very festive. Be sure to check out the variety, see which one you love. But I love that it has that excellent resistance resistance that you need for the low and high temperatures so whatever you are setting in that mold yeah. you'll be able to do so with ease these are actual ice cubes that we made earlier we just put them out because we didn't want them to melt but these are actually ice cubes that's made of ice so to show you that you don't just have to like pour water in it make right. traditional boring ice cubes we put a little bit of food coloring in the water mm -hmm. poured it into the tray and obviously you just flip over the tray and there's the mold so you pour that into the tray right there stick it in the freezer let it freeze because it's silicone it pops right out with ease yep. and and then you get this insanely fun creative shapes. You can really and see like the letters. There's the RIP. There's the little uh, 
spider web on yes. the corner of the tombstone right there. I love the size of them too because I like that um, if we were talking in terms of sweets and cakes as we mentioned which yeah. you can do as well. Those are nice little mini takeaways if you were to do favors and you oh, wanted to yeah. do like a little mini, mini cake there. Here. Yeah exactly. So these are really fun also with jello if you do this with jello. I mean they're such a great size. Uh, I like that they're a little bigger than your traditional ice cube. Again we have the spiders, we have the tombstone, the RIP, all that good stuff. And it can with, withstand those temperatures over 400 degrees. You can put them in the microwave, even the dishwasher, because I know you and I are the dishwashers in our homes. We do all the right? dishwashing so in our homes. So important home, to us, right? It is yeah. important to me as well. Let's just recap really quickly because I want to remind everybody about these things. These are really ways to sort of take the kitchen cooking game this holiday, this Halloween holiday, yes. to the next level. We started with those cookie cutters. Remember, 18 yes. different shapes, tons of different options for making great Halloween cookies. By the way, mm -hmm. not a terrible thing to give out. If you live in a place where you would like to give out, instead of just giving out uh, bagged or boxed candy, yeah. you can also give out cookies. Maybe you make a plate or a tray of cookies mm -hmm. and bring them into work. You can see this is really a great way to let your creativity run wild with all those shapes from the black cat to the broom, mm -hmm. pumpkins, bones, uh, the witch's hat, all of these fun things, all of these fun shapes. We just made simple shortbread cookies, but of course you can put your favorite recipe to work and mm. then we frosted them Oops. up and we had fun. <laughs> the only way to, it's the only way to do it with the frosting. Sorry, guys. So that's the Wilton. That's how I do it at home. What can I say? Halloween cookie yes. cutter set. I want to check back in over here on our egg mold. This is from Oza, uh, Okerzy. Yes. Silicone fried egg mold. You can check, check it out. out. So this is our eggs. They're almost done now. They came out beautifully. Two eggs for eyes. Uh, and the egg whites become the skull. This, I'd be about 30 more seconds. You'd be about two more minutes. I'd be about minutes. two more minutes in okay. there. Exactly. <laughs> Again, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, freezer safe for all of this stuff. Very simple to make eggs in this shape. And I, what I like about this one, too, that we didn't mention is if you have the kids in the kitchen with you, when they're cooking and yeah. they see this mold and they see the eggs being made, in their minds, that'll be the world of difference between an ordinary morning of getting breakfast ready versus Halloween morning. I mean... It just takes little touches like that. I agree. To exactly. Make a, to make a breakfast an event for the kids. Right. Why uh, not get creative? Why not get in the kitchen? Have so, Like, whether they can't obviously stand right at the stove, but just to give them that... You can't take back those memories. Those are the memories that get made. Yes, you get all the candy and all the good stuff, but these are like the special times where I think it's totally worth it to just have a little fun with that. But also, we can't forget our tombstone silicone ice cube tray by DC Top. I like the size of these. I like that you get the six yeah. different shapes Let's and put it kinds. I'm, gonna just, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up. So, by the way, this is what we did for our punch over there. We just yes. took a little bit of colored water, a little bit of food coloring into the water. We mm -hmm. filled this thing up. And because it's silicone, as we said, both freezer, microwave, safe. Da -da -da -da. Yes, perfect. I love it. You obviously could do orange, as we have as well. Totally But I good. like the orange uh, with the purple mix. Very cool Halloween combo, you guys. And like we said, those six different shapes you get. You get the RIP. You get the spider. Everything's from skulls to anything spooky and festive. It's pretty much in there. So. You got it. All yes. of these picks, by the way, are in our carousel right now. Be sure to look in there and grab them. Now, mm -hmm. our Amazon Live Halloween correspondent, Alexa Santos, hit the streets of New York City to talk to people about their Halloween plans and, of course, of memories past. Check it out. Hey everyone, I'm Alexis Santos with Amazon Live. Now we are talking all things Halloween. We are taking to the streets to get all of our most burning Halloween questions answered by the lovely people of New York City. We're going to do the skull theme, seeing as we'll be in Mexico. So oh. something with Dia de los Muertos, I think. I like doing face paint. So I'll probably do some like skeleton face paint Ooh. or something. It's Bob and Linda from Bob's Burgers. Ooh, that's uh, a good one. And then we could dress up our cat as uh, one of the other characters. The dogs will be um, Superman and Wonder Woman, like just like they were last year. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best costume you've ever done? Well, we did match in Ghostbuster cos costumes. Ooh, I dressed up as the trench bull from Matilda. Oh my God, yeah, that like is legendary. Yes, yeah, like the Olympic, like she had the Olympic hoodie on. Shot put javelin, exactly, hammer throw. And the, the, yes. Um, the weight belt and the hair all up, no makeup, heavy eyebrows. It was awesome. I'm That's excited. amazing. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a lot of Game of Thrones. I'm thinking a lot of Marvel costumes. I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of characters. Anything? Stranger Things. That's a good one. Yeah, that's 11. a good one. It was Handmaid's Tale one year, so I think that's still relatively hot. Mm. What's popular this year? Maybe that uh, It dude. Ooh. 
people have like trips to go see our house because it's the only one, like almost literally in Iceland that sell that we is decorated since September. I do decorate my house. I like creepy, but not you know not terrorizing and stuff like. Like you don't want to give people skulls. nightmares. No, I'm scared of Halloween. Really? I don't like haunted houses, but I'm actually going to one this weekend. Yeah. Bless your heart. Chocolate bars, for sure. Like the full size yeah, ones? Yeah, anybody that gave out the full size one, that was going to their house first, for sure. Probably when we would get full size candy bars. I was thinking that. Yeah, anything chocolate, yeah. And like the full size <laughs> ones? Yeah, the big ones. The big ones, that's when you knew it was real. The Swiss chocolate. Swiss chocolate, so yeah. very fancy. Yeah. Raisins. <laughs> Raisins. I always, my one neighbor always gave me raisins. Didn't you get raisins? Yes. And you got oh. erasers and pencils? Yeah. She was super upset. She was like, don't go to that house. Look at that pouch. Cucumber. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what they're called. They're like these little toffee things. I've definitely gotten pennies before. A toothbrush. Yeah, I think we got toothbrushes. We got toothbrushes from like a dentist. <laughs> what evil person? <laughs> That's the opposite of Halloween, yeah, like it's at its core. Money. <laughs> That's good. Money. <laughs> like little like tuition checks. That would be nice. That too. would be that would be really swell. I like handing out the candy. You do? Yeah. To kids, I think it's fun, and they like are all happy and cute, dressed up. Seeing how creative people get with the costumes. Candy. Yeah, Love probably candy. Candy, candy and um, I like decorations. Um, Not scary ones, though. PG decorations. Yeah. <laughs> Just a, a happy decoration. little pumpkin. Yeah, happy Perfect. little pumpkin. And now, what's next for me to do is head to Amazon.com and start planning my own Halloween costume. So much fun. I uh, know. That. Halloween can be fun, obviously, for all of us at any age. But oh, yeah. dressing up is especially cute for the little ones. I have to say, as yeah. an auntie, my nieces and nephews, I live for this moment. Oh, and we have some on set. You're going to see them in a second. So I yes. want you guys to stay tuned. But, you know, with babies and toddlers. So it goes. Anything can happen. So, guys, make sure you keep watching. Yes. And, you know, the fun thing about these costumes is you can create a lot of, like, mommy and me moments, right? Yes, the matching. Or daddy and me, the, the matching things. Family and, costumes. Oh, yeah. Because it's about creating those memories. You know, the, the trick-or-treating is, like, such a great thing that kids love. And so when you give them those fun costumes, it's just memories that last a lifetime. And I, there's something so funny about seeing which costumes kids take to. Yeah. You might be surprised. Like, sometimes even yeah. the ones that they love watching exactly. are not the ones they end up in. That's right? 100%. So it's a very interesting experiment to start <laughs> dressing up your little ones. My little piece of advice from watching my sister, is? I'll give her all the credit, is okay. to buy a backup costume. Oh, just in case. Yeah, always want to have the backup costume. That's so really... the one they think they want, then they go to put it on and they want the one over there. And yeah, then the have moment, two. It will probably happen. That's it. That's it. All right, so let's get started. You know, yeah. we have some cute toddlers that are on set and they are just so adorable. The first one we have is the Yoda costume. Yes. And it's being modeled by our friend Sterling. Come on, come over, on Sterling. Out, Sterling. Come oh, on and show hi, everybody your Yoda skills. How cute is this? Hi. Let's just show off the uh, entire no, outfit. Can we oh, put a little gosh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, how cute. So there's a graphic <laughs> that shows you what the costume looks like. So Sterling's walking around. Yay. and we're, It's okay, Sterling. It's Yay. okay. Listen, with babies, anything can happen. That's right. You look so cute, pumpkin. Yes. Can we see Sterling? Oh. Hi, Sterling. <laughs> Hello. Yes. So this is the Ruby's costume, Star Wars complete Yoda costume. It's the complete costume. It has this soft hooded robe with the brown zip-up ladder um, that's underneath it. And then the green Yoda headpiece, that's what you're seeing. Now, let me be honest with you guys. Putting, getting the headpiece on the baby is a little difficult. That's so Sterling right. prefers it without that's the headpiece, right. but it's okay. He's Nothing so a little good. game of peekaboo won't fix you guys. Oh. But this is obviously, as we said, the officially <laughs> licensed Star Wars costume. Ooh. I love the attention to detail from those pointed ears yeah. to the wrinkles on Yoda's head. Yeah. And of course, you got to get the picture before the tears. Yes. You know, you got to time it all perfectly. This is 100% yes. polyester in case you're wondering what will be going on your little one. So let me see know. if I can get a hold of yes. Sterling. Sterling, how's it Sterling. going? We want to see your outfit. This is your moment to shine. Sterling yes. is like, who is Cinderella? And this is a Hi, Sterling. Size as well, something Hi. 
<laughs> Sterling is like, give me back to my mommy. Okay, so that's a wrap on Sterling. Thank Sterling you is so like, much. I had my moment. I've had my Thank moment so in much the this side. spotlight. That was Aww. a lot of fun. Guys, this is what happens when Listen, you have baby We're giving you real-time Halloween. <laughs> we're not going to sugarcoat it for you. Like I said, have yeah. the camera ready, get the snap, and then yeah. let them let them have their moment and, and just relax. And if we're being honest, it can be, you know, a little intimidating. It's fun for Halloween, but when you have the cameras and the lights here, sometimes yes. the little toddlers get a little overwhelmed. Now, yes. let's move on to the next item. Now, I have a question for you guys. Do you have a little girl who wants to be a princess? Yes. And a mermaid? Me? That sounds like me. Oh. I know. Same I'm like, right? is it me? Yeah, we've got the perfect solution for that. This is the okay. Padetti Mermaid Princess Costume Sequence, sequence party, party dress. dress. Being modeled by our girl Savannah. Savannah. Stand right here. First Look of all, at our gorgeous how cute mermaid are you? princess. Do you like your costume? You can nod yes. Yes or no? Yes. yes. All right. Great. We got an honest reaction. <laughs> now, I have to say, as you stand next to our Cinderella over yes. here, I love a princess costume will not be complete without blinged out sequins, blinged out glitter. So this version here obviously comes with the accessories mm -hmm. and the dress. So you get the tiara, you get the princess gloves, you get that jewelry, and even your beautiful scepter. Can How cute you wave your that? wand for us, Princess Savannah? Oh, yes. yes. All Excellent. our wishes have been granted. I love how you're Savannah's mom, right? I am. I yes. love how you guys both have, again, it's the little details that right. really matter, right? You have the matching glitter. You have mm -hmm. the matching glitter in it. How cute is that? And also what's nice is that this dress is stretchable on the top mm -hmm. and the skirt. So it should be easy and comfortable. Savannah, do you feel comfortable in your Princess Mermaid costume? Yes. She's like, yes, I love it. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous she looks. And now the size ranges from toddler to 9 to 10 years old. So mm -hmm. no matter what age you want to channel your inner princess, we definitely have Savannah doing the trick. Now, you told me, you are you 5 years old? Almost 5? How old are you, Savannah? Oh, almost 5. You're 4? Oh, four. Wow. Okay, four, four and a half. I know, I All confused right. you with the almost five. Who says they're almost five? You're four. Yes, exactly. And so, are you so excited for your friends to see your princess mermaid costume? Yeah, okay. Aww. What's your best princess pose with your wand? Let's see. Do princess pose. I, she's she goes, like, don't no, put no. me on the spot. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Is Savannah now at the age where she's into the, the, the mermaids and the princess theme? Yes. That's big. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Oh, that's so cute. Now, what made you want to be a, not just a princess, but a <laughs> princess mermaid? Because you love mermaids? Do you love mermaids? Yeah. And She's like, yeah. <laughs> Guys, can I just enjoy my costume? That's what Savannah is saying. She's well, like, thank I you don't so know, Jackie. Stop coming. asking yeah. me these I know, questions. Stop. You look so adorable. And by the way, just like Jackie was saying, look at the two of us. So I'm going to pass this over to you when I'm done. Okay. There you and go. And then you guys yeah. can just, because this can is go from Amazon. We can go trick-or-treating well. together. There you go. Trick-or-treat. Well, happy <laughs> trick-or-treating. Thank you thank so much, you. Savannah. Thanks, and mommy, Savannah. Thanks, Savannah. go out this way. How cute is that? A unicorn and a mermaid all in one. How cute you know, is that? I, you know what? Some things are just trending always. Mm -hmm. I feel like mermaids are just constantly yeah. princesses. Yes. You can't go wrong with those <laughs> kinds of classics. Now, yeah. of course, we have an absolutely adorable costume that I think you'll actually wish was real. And I'm talking about a donut. And it is being modeled by Dylan today. Give Dylan a Dylan, lot of love. the donut there coming out Dylan. here in Come our Ruby's in Trick or Treat. Oh, hi, Dylan. Sweetie, hi. Hi, Dylan. Dylan looks so adorable. So this is the Ruby's Trick or Treat Sweeties uh, dunk Hi, your donut Dylan. costume. It's being modeled you by like beautiful donut? Dylan here. Do you like donuts? It's a donut inspired jump printed with the with the frosting and the sprinkles. She's so cute in this. <laughs> oh my she gosh, looks adorable. Is, do you feed her a lot of sweets, or is this as close as she's getting to the sweets? Uh, eventually, <laughs> eventually she'll get to maybe the maybe not ready to take the candy just yet, but yes. she could be the candy and the sweets. Super um, cute. So now it comes this with a cute right. little headband. It's made of this 100% polyester material, so the coffee for dunking is not included. Well, thank you so much, Dylan. Thank you. You guys look adorable. I love it. <laughs> so we've had mermaids. We've had donuts. Yeah. We've had Yoda. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? We've got even more Halloween picks headed your way, so check this out. We're back with some weird, wonderful Halloween finds just for you. Yes. This is one you can't mix. It's the elephant in the room. 
<laughs> More like the sushi the in the, the room. It's room. my costume. Ben it is the Boo Ink Sushi Roll Halloween costume. I love. And it's right up my alley, obviously, because anytime you bring any food costume anywhere, it I want to put it on. That's pretty <laughs> much what it. I'm That's trying to say. I'm in it, and I am I am sushi. <laughs> it is very easy to put on. All you got to do is just pull it right on over your head. So it is made of one. 100% polyester for yeah. a comfortable fit yeah. that also resists wrinkles and shrinking. So you can wear this costume again and again. It seems sushi. like a salmon roll yeah. with some rice, maybe a little avocado, yeah. carrots, uh, wasabi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, always a fan. Here's the deal. The soy sauce is not included. Um, but it may be a nice companion costume. There's an idea. Okay, well, There's I've got one. For you. Uh, my companion here is a little tired, but yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with this one. Okay. I literally hate spiders. I hate them. I heard that you swallow them when you sleep. That's disgusting. At least eight times a year. That's I found fantastic. one in my bed once, so I think that might be true. It's okay. very dark! <laughs> Every time. I even knew it was coming this time and it still freaked me out. It's just representative of all and my it's worst fuzzy. nightmares. But it, I mean, it is so festive and fun. For Halloween, this is the Unglinga 6.5, six and a half foot large Halloween outdoor spider decoration. It's truly, I mean, you can see in comparison to a there very tall woman, a red eyed terror, okay? And yeah. whether you're talking the home, the office, the classroom, a bathroom, parties, just other, anywhere that you could just totally freak, freak someone out. out. Yeah, this is the put it there. Put a little then, fishing twine on it and, oh my you know, God. freak and your those family and friends. beady red in. eyes. Like, that's something you just don't want to think about right before you go to bed. But this guy is a must-have for yes. any Halloween it occasion, is. okay? It He's pliable. You can position Very him soft. for her however you want. Just, uh, you know, bend the legs. It can even be attached to webbing or a string, as you've got here. Long black hair indoor or outdoor decor so decor decor indoor and outdoor decor if it's in both places but anyway as you can see it's totally terrifying but totally appropriate for halloween and in the meantime back to you guys in the studio <laughs> they look like they're having fun. They are. We're having fun, too, here. We're here on our haunted front porch, and we're about to give you the lowdown on how to deck out your trick-or-treating space this season. Here and the first it. thing, of course, that comes to mind mm -hmm. when it's trick-or-treating time is the candy. Oh, yeah. So let's get to some of our best picks from Mars Wrigley to make yours the best house on the block. Mars is the brand behind some of the most recognizable names in candy, M&M's, Snickers, Milky Way, That's Three right. Musketeers. This is the all-star team, Twix, <laughs> Starburst, Skittles. This is a who's who of must-eat candy, and we've got a selection of variety bags and boxes from Mars in the carousel today, you guys. Uh, do you remember as a kid? Talk to me. You would go trick-or-treating. You went trick-or-treating as a kid? I did. Okay. As an adult as well. And the best house, uh, as an adult as well. I did. Just took me a minute. The best house on the block was always the house that gave you the full-size candy bars. 100%. Right? Now, you can be that house with this Mars 18-piece full-size bars. It's a variety pack of six Snicker bars, five Twix bars, four Three Musketeer bars, and three Milky Way bars. I oh. love Milky Way. I just am obsessed with it. I can eat all of it all the time. And that is sure to keep the trick-or-treaters satisfied. So this is how you become the best house, or rather apartment. We do trick-or-treating in our tiny apartment in Brooklyn. But you know what? If the thing is, you could be great at trick-or-treating, or you could be a legend yeah. by giving out the full-size <laughs> bar. And the, the thing choices. is, you get a great price. This is a great value price right now in the carousel. One box of 18, mm -hmm. right? To a four-pack, by the way. You can get as much as you want to. And you get a great selection uh, that you can bring to work if you want to. Oh, that's a good you idea. You can take it to school. You you could mm -hmm. take it to a school event. Loads of good options here, you guys. And these full-size bars, I'm telling you, there's something special about giving out Having the real size. deal oh, yeah. on Halloween night. I always loved that house. It was always, by the way, my parents were never those parents. Mm -hmm. They did not want to give out the full-size bars. Were they giving bars. away vegetables? 
We didn't do that. We didn't give away <laughs> toothbrushes, but we always gave away sort of like the off-brand candy. And I oh. always, I was always a little embarrassed. I was like, come on, let's step up our game. Let's be people giving Twix bars out here. Can we do that? Uh, so this is your chance to do that. This is what we do at my house because I want every kid to go, hey, we got to stop at the Roberto house. We got to stop at that house. Because they got the full-size Snickers bars. And if you're bars. going to a party, this is the gift to bring oh, that's for a that hostess. Party, yeah. yeah, that is perfect for a party. And that's not all we have, you guys. We have even more variety bags from Mars that's going to please and appease everybody all the trick-or-treaters this halloween like this 250 piece chocolate mix bag this is what it contains it contains yeah. one 250 piece variety mix bag of three musketeers the twix the snickers the milky way the m&m's milk chocolate candy i can't get enough of this candy it's featuring five different mars uh chocolate brands so it's a variety mix a little something for everybody when you whip out that chocolate uh -huh. that's when you start to get to see people's personalities like people feel very strongly about the different types of chocolate so it's nice to have a little bit of variety this is going to make kids stop in their tracks because you're going to put this bowl in front of them and they're going to go uh-uh I, I don't know what to choose. I don't know what to choose. This if you've true. ever gotten one of those big mixed bags at the big box store, mm -hmm. what you always get is one candy you really want and three or four that they, whatever, they just filled Decent. the bag up with. Yeah. When you buy this mixed bag, you get everything. You get fun-sized and mini-sized chocolate bars that everybody wants to have. Mm -hmm. M&M's, Snickers, Three Musketeers, Twix, Milky Way. Like, those are the Big All the good size. And the good thing about this, too, is that it takes the guesswork out of figuring out yeah. what to get, right? Yeah. So you just grab this bag and you are done. Now, speaking of grabbing, if you grab a handful of four or five pieces for each trick-or-treater, this bag alone is still going to feed or cover about 50 to 60 people. I know in um, my mom's neighborhood in Indiana, trick-or-treating is a big deal. Big deal. So 50 to 60 people is like the first round, and then the second round of kids come, and then the bigger kids come, and then the adults come. And then the adults come. Yeah. The nice thing is when a kid takes a piece of candy and you mm. say, no, go ahead, take another one. Yeah. No, go ahead. Kids love that. Let's see. Uh, and How by much the way, can I grab and by the way, if you're going to get more than 50 or 60, it's a good thing that we've got other amazing mixed oh, yeah. bags for you. You can treat your friends, your family, your coworkers with to some of their favorite candy with this great variety, guys. This is a 250 piece mixed bag, perfect addition to your costume parties or for Halloween. Without but a doubt. Let's talk about this right here. Oh, yeah. These fun size candies are amazing. This is a 315 piece bag and it is a 99.4 ounce bag of Starburst, Skittles and Life Saver gummies. All the good stuff. So this 315-piece oh, so festive Halloween variety bag has the perfect mixture of just the fun size fruity candies to pass out on Halloween. I was telling JD that I yeah. really like to mix the chocolate and the fruity all in one and just chew it together. It's so good. <laughs> now, if you're less of a chocolate person or family, which is my husband, by the way, he does not My like kids chocolate. are Skittles kids. It. My kids right? love the Skittles. I love chocolate. So oh, more into the fruity candies. This pack right here is for you. Or you, Like I said, get both of them and combine the two bags for your trick-or-treaters it's like the best of both worlds. So this Halloween variety bag is filled with enough candy to really last you through Halloween night, Halloween season. I mean, for 315 pieces, you can give, you know, you can eat, give five to each trick-or-treater this Halloween season, and it's going to give about 60 people a nice treat. So it really will last for a really, really long time, especially if you take it to the office as well. I love the idea of just putting a bowl by your desk. People will be coming by your desk, circling by your desk yeah. all day. You know what? If you buy one of each of these bags... Mm -hmm. Uh, you can give five pieces to everybody who comes over yep. and have enough for 120 trick-or-treaters. Oh, that's good, man. You will be stocked, and you'll be stocked with the good stuff and as it's well. individually wrapped. That's always nice. On Halloween, individually wrapped stuff just feels safer and feels it nicer. Does. It does. It so does. So these fun-sized candies are great for filling up your candy bowl at the home, at the office, a variety of places. And again, all of these Mars options are available in the carousel right now. Take the guesswork, the work out of figuring out what to get. Just get the one pack and be done. So be sure to pick them up and add them to your cart and check out to get them just in time. It's never too early to start for Halloween, is it? Indeed, it's not. <laughs> and speaking of Halloween, let's talk. Now that we've got our candy sorted mm -hmm. out, let's talk about a little bit of outdoor decor. Oh, yes. Oh, what's oh, my stepping dress? on Cinderella's yes, dress? Yes, I'm so yes. sorry. <laughs> you know, I've got these big boots <laughs> on. My big punk rock boots there on. There you go. Um, if you want to make a cool Halloween experience happen at your house, we can help make it even more exciting. You're going to be the talk of the neighborhood with these awesome outdoor decorations we've got here. We've got this spooky jack-o'-lantern for it. our front porch. This is the Joey Domi Halloween five-foot inflatable pumpkin witch. Now, obviously, this just blows up super easily. It's got LED lights that are swirling inside to give it uh, the nice glowing eyes, it's which so I think is very, very cool. cool. It's easy to use, yeah. right? If you're not really big into Halloween or you don't know what to get, just plop this in your front yard. Look at how easy it is to inflate. 
One Look and done. Look at that. Comes with a 10-foot extended cord, uh, the ground stakes, the fastened ropes, and a built-in sandbags. Keep so, it right in place, yeah. Right, it's just plug it in and pop. It just pops up in a minute. Really, really easy to use. All right, let's move on to something else. There it is. That's what it looks like when it's lit up. All right, next up is this awesome big ghost arch. I have to lift up my dress here. So this is the Impact Canopy Inflatable outdoor Halloween decoration and ghost arch. It's made of this durable, weatherproof nylon fabric, so it's yeah. great for that out, uh, you know, that outstanding, extended outdoor use. If it rains a little bit, it's okay. It's still gonna work. It features light bulbs for that nighttime display, which is when most people go out trick-or-treating anyway. Yeah, it's gonna, people love to trick-or-treat in the dark. It inflates mm -hmm. in minutes. It's got a fan and a, and a uh, UL listed transformer yes. in it, and it deflates very quickly for quick storage as well. I see putting this like leading up Oh, there's a, by the way, we took a oh. shot of what it looks like at night all lit up. That's fantastic. That is. I can see sort of putting this in before your front door mm -hmm. and making the kids come through it. To grab to the knock candy. on the front door yeah. and make it a little bit scary. <laughs> That's so much fun. It is fun. All right, so this next one, I'm standing next to it. It's kind of creeping me out, so I'm going <laughs> to scoot on over here. And it's going to creep out your neighbors as well, but in the best way. This is what Halloween is all about. It's the Halloween Haunters animated hanging scary circus clown. So it's a five-foot-tall hanging clown. There it is right there on the side. And it has, um, it stares at you down with this large light of bloodshot eyes that move back and forth. Ooh, how creepy is that, JD? I don't know Ooh. why clowns are things like for kids and circuses, because they're scary. Yeah, um, if that wasn't enough, you guys, it also chimes, it howls, and it moans. It sounds like somebody I used to date. It is a sound <laughs> and touch activated, but the arms can be bent for that custom posing. Yeah, we've also got a classic right over here. Uh, it's the Crazy Bones Pose and Stay Skeleton <laughs> right there. Five foot tall skeleton. There's somebody that needs to eat a couple of Mars bars <laughs> right there. Crafted from durable all-weather plastic. Throw this out on the lawn, in a chair. Uh, I don't know. Put it up on the porch. It's a lot of fun. It will hold its position oh, yeah. wherever you put it. Look and finally, we're moving from creepy too cute. Oh, yeah. We've got these lovely little inflatable jack lanterns for the front yard. They're the Impact Canopy inflatable outdoor jack lanterns. All great ways to stay decorated mm -hmm. for this great holiday, guys. Absolutely. We've got more Halloween peaks, so pigs keep on watching, you guys. Where's those candy bars? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.